Rusin Americans are citizens of the United States of America, with ancestors who were Rusins from Carpathian Ruthenia, or neighboring areas of Central Europe. However, some Rusin Americans, also or instead identify as Ukrainian Americans, Russian Americans, or even Slovak Americans. They are sometimes also referred to as Carpatho Ruthenian Americans, but terms based on Ruthenian designations are often viewed as imprecise, since they have several wider meanings. Related to their diverse historical, religious, and ethnic uses and scopes, that were encompassing various East Slavic groups. Since the revolutions of 1989, there has been a revival in Rusin nationalism and self identification in both Carpathian Ruthenia and among the Rusin diaspora in other parts of Europe and North America. Rusins began immigrating to the United States in the late 1870s and in the 1880s. Upon arrival in North America, the vast majority of Rusins identified with the larger state that they had left. It is, therefore, impossible to know their exact number. It is estimated that between the 1880s and 1914 some 225,000 Carpatho Rusin immigrants came to northeastern United States. Based on immigration statistics and membership records in religious and secular organizations, it is reasonable to assume that there are about 620,000 Americans who have at least one ancestor of Rusin background. At the time of the first and largest wave of immigration, the Rusin homeland was located entirely within the Austro-Hungarian Empire. In both parts of Austria-Hungary, the economic situation for Rusins was the same. Their approximately 1,000 villages were all located in hilly or mountainous terrain from which the inhabitants eked out a subsistence-level existence based on small-scale agriculture. Livestock grazing, and seasonal labor on the richer plains of lowland Hungary. Since earning money was the main goal of the immigrants, they settled primarily in the northeast and north-central states, in particular the coal mining region around Scranton and Wilkes-Barre in northeastern Pennsylvania. And in the Pittsburgh and Erie areas of the western part of that state. Other cities and metropolitan areas that attracted Russins were Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, New York City and northeastern New Jersey, southern Connecticut, the Binghamton-Endicott-Johnson City Triangle in south-central New York, Cleveland and Youngstown. Ohio, Chicago, Illinois, Gary and Whiting, Indiana, Detroit and Flint, Michigan, and Minneapolis, Minnesota. By 1920, nearly 80% of all Russins lived in only three states, Pennsylvania, New York, and New Jersey. Like other Eastern and Southern Europeans, Russins were effectively segregated from the rest of American society because of their low economic status and lack of knowledge of English. This was, however, a relatively short-term phase, since the American-born sons and daughters of the original immigrants had, by the late 1930s and 1940s, assimilated and become absorbed into the American mainstream. Carpatho Rusin Cultural and Educational Center, Munhall, Pennsylvania The Carpatho Rusin Society has purchased the historic former Cathedral of St. John the Baptist in Munhall, Pennsylvania to convert it into the nation's first national Carpatho Rusin Cultural Center. The historic structure was the first cathedral in America exclusively for Carpatho Russins. It was built in 1903 at the corner of 10th and Dixon Streets in Munhall, just outside of Pittsburgh. Designed by the Hungarian-born architect, Titus de Bobula, and patterned after the Rusin Greek Catholic Cathedral of the Exaltation of the Holy Cross in Uzorid, Subcarpathian Rus. The parish was established in 1897 and the church, the parish's second, was built in 1903. By the 1920s the congregation had more than 700 families. In 1929 it was chosen as the cathedral for the Ruthenian Greek Catholic Exarchate in America. The congregation, then known as Street. John the Baptist Byzantine Catholic Parish, left the building in 1993 when it constructed a new suburban cathedral. In April 2004, the property was purchased by the Carpatho Rusin Society to create a home and center for the organization and culture. Thanks for watching.